Hello everyone, my name is uh, Yusuf. Uh, I am from Leeds. Uh, I am reporting uh, for Room Now from uh, Copenhagen uh, for EULA 2022. Uh, today is the final day of uh, EULA, so it does feel a bit sad, uh, but also um, we have learned so much from the conference. Um, and today uh, we just like to um, discuss about one abstract uh, that was presented uh, in the late breaking abstract. So the late breaking abstract is always you know very um famous uh, session where a lot of people attend it uh, and it's always very quick firing one so the one that i'm um uh, interested uh, in um is um from uh late break breaking abstract 0006 um so this is a, a phase three uh, randomized control trials uh, of a uh, sarilumab uh plus um uh, 14, four, uh, 14 weeks a uh, taper of steroid uh, versus uh, placebo uh, and slow tapering of steroid over 52 weeks. So as we know, uh, we need a new therapy uh, uh, to treat um, relapsing polymalgia rheumatica uh, because of uh, the higher steroid burden and toxicity, which also can increase morbidities. So the initial uh, plan for um, the, the trial sample size is over 200 patients. But unfortunately, um, halfway through the recruitment, uh, they've been severely impacted by COVID. So initially, um, so they only managed to recruit 110 over uh, 200 um, uh, from what they intended. So it's under 50% uh, of recruitment. Uh, and also like during the study as well, uh, quite a few people discontinued due to um, uh, uh, an inefficacy or due to uh, some adverse events, but majority of the uh, treatment discontinuation was is actually on the comparator uh, arm, which is the steroid. Um, so uh, from what they've got, so that they, they can make use of, um, so uh, the they, they've met the primary endpoint. So I think that's uh, that's good. Um, so the primary endpoint uh, is a composite of uh, a few things uh, because, as we know, uh, the IL six inhibitors sarilumab will definitely make your CRP normal. So we can't just rely on CRP only. Um, so we do, uh, so they have composite measures of uh, uh, proportion of patient of uh, having a disease flare, uh, CRP normalization, and also uh, adherence to the um, steroid taper protocol. Yeah, um, so that's their uh, criteria. So uh, at 52 weeks, there are 28% uh, of a patient on the sarilumab and uh, shorter uh, steroid uh, uh, withdrawal taper uh, achieve uh, this remission rate uh, compared to uh, the, 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 the comparator. Uh, in terms of uh, other things, uh, the accumulation of steroid dose, so unsurprisingly, it's, it is lower um, in the uh, treatment group. Um, however, uh, there was no statistically significant difference in terms of the toxicity score between the two. So it could have been because of the you know, smaller sample size uh, um, uh, that, you know, to, to ascertain the difference between the two. So, uh, uh, and there's no major safety uh, as well. So I think this is a, a promising uh, a, a result for it, but um, this is underpowered studies. So, um, so I think it, it, is, it will be interesting to see whether, um, you know, if, if this study will be planned or, or potentially um, whether this can be discussed with the regulator for, for approval for treatment for polymalgia rheumatica. Um, so certainly, um, you know, probably we have to watch the, the space really from that point of view, but certainly it's encouraging uh, in terms of uh, that point of view but also one other thing is also we also need a longer term follow-up i mean is the in the that uh, uh, sarilumab only in, um, for 52 weeks or can we extend it a little bit more i think that's all question to be asked for the future so uh, apology for the noise because i'm actually in the hotel lobby and i'm gonna uh, dash off to back to the uk in in half an hour so uh, thank you uh, and if you want to have more uh, contents of uh, uh, the Eula 2022. So just uh, browse our web website, uh, also on YouTube, uh, uh, Twitter, and also on YouTube. Uh, thank you so much, and I hope um, good to see you in the Eula 2023. Okay, thank you.